<laughs> you know what I love about her show? It shows Ice T in a different like light instead of always being the gangster yeah. image. And, yeah, you know, he does he, have a personality. Does he like he is funny. Well, the thing is, like, he's only like that with me. Oh, okay. Oh. Right. With everybody else, he wants to murder him. <laughs> does he like that image getting out there though? Like, is he happy that people see him differently than just this? No, he's happy to see that he he truly loves me. You know, yeah. that's not just talk. You know, for, for so long when we first got together, especially the first year, okay. oh, we had it bad. People were like, "Oh yeah, who's this bimbo blonde?" You yeah. know, in her in his face, blah blah blah. Oh, she'll be gone the next year or next week or whatever. And then I slowly try to you know prove them wrong. Then it was second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. Now I'm on 11 years. What do you got to say yeah, about that? Jesus, eh? well, I was recently on Law & Order. Wow, that's gangster. My third appearance. Mm -hmm. So you have your own, so it's, it's official. Yeah. You have your own section, office, everything. You work over there. Where, you, yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Well, because, you know, I if I don't, I would never see him. My Lord. So they I have to never... put you in episodes <laughs> just so you can see your husband. <laughs> but, I mean, with the episode, that was, you know, I have my own office, you know, Coco's World office in okay. New Jersey. So that's where most of the stuff, it happens. But as far as a, an office on the set, of course, it's my husband. He's around. Yeah. And I would never see him. It's 14-hour days. We don't have a marriage if that's the case. As well. So I have to make it known that I'm there. I got to have my presence known. Yeah. <laughs> but this time around, I had to kiss someone. Not wow. ice. Whoa. So what? that was a little controversy Ooh. there. I thought he was like, yo, player, watch it, player. <laughs> yeah. Do you have no. to have a talk with him beforehand? <laughs> you know what? I ice... don't want to do the scene anymore. <laughs> <laughs> ice is not a jealous person. Mm. And that's the thing is like when you marry a model, you got to kind of be known that there's there's going to be ooglers out there and they, they, they drool over their wives. Mm. Yeah. And he's cool with that. You know, it's like he says it like this. If you have a Lamborghini... Or, you know, a fine car. You don't want to keep the car cover on it. Yeah, you, you want, want to show it, it off. Yeah, show it off. Everybody's right. happy. And yeah. that's how he is. And then, like, know? nobody's going to take the Lambo from you. Yes. <laughs> that's a good uh, analogy yeah. right The there. thing is, um, it comes up in the, the script unexpectedly. Mm. So I didn't know I was going to kiss someone. They just kind of wham, bam, put it on me. Wow. So it's, you, you got to watch the show. It's it's going to be on my, my show, Ice Loves Coco, yeah. and on Law & Order. It was already shown. But um, it, it replaced. But it was like time. a uh, was it a soap opera kiss or was it tonguing? It was tonguing. Whoa! <laughs> What's going on with the, with these twit pics, man? A lot, a okay. Lot of, you, you you cause a lot of controversy. I these. do, and I can't believe a naked body can cause controversy. Honestly, and it's very innocent, right? It's so innocent. Honest. Okay, this is how I started doing it. You know, back in the day when I first started Twitter, whatever, three years ago, I'm not even sure when it was. But it was kind of getting boring. All this talk and all this, uh-huh, I'm going to the grocery store. Yeah. It wasn't, I wasn't filling Twitter. So then I get all this, like, response from my fans saying, Coco, we hate when you're Photoshopped. We hate, oh. we love you. And I'm like, once I take a picture, I've been on 60 covers of magazines, right? When I take a picture, I give the picture away, and they do what they want with the picture, right? Mm -hmm. So they think I do something with the picture. Well, I got sick of this, and I decided <laughs> to do her, my yo. candid photos, and my candid photos are not Photoshopped, and that's why everybody loves them. So I started Titty Tuesday. That's what I was talking about, the days and of the week. And I, <laughs> and I started Thong Thursday. I'm so glad I told Ice about this one particular guy. He pops up on Coco's World. What? And wow. uh, he, says, he says, Coco, I didn't. I was the guy that was sitting right next to you at the IC concert, blah, blah, blah. I just want to know that I'm gay, and the guy right next to me was my lover, and he was really jealous that I was talking to you. <laughs> I've never been with a woman, but I want you to be my wife. I've what? I've now changed. I'm no longer gay. What? I'm, I will come out to you. I lived in Arizona at the time. I will come out to you and bring you back to me. We'll get married and le live a, a long, healthy life together. But God doesn't want you showing your body. <laughs> what? Oh, this is really your religion comes and then to he, play. And then at the end he goes, P.S. You like dogs? I like cats. <laughs>
in, in, in season two, I heard there's a lot of baby talk, man. Like, that's one of the biggest things. Like, you know, Beyonce and Jay just gave birth to a beautiful yeah. baby. I'm, I'm so mm-hmm. happy the baby looks beautiful. Yeah. We already know your baby's going to look hot. We don't have no <laughs> questions about that. But <laughs> <it's a> little- <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to name your baby Blue Ivy or no weird, like, you know, creamy, <laughs> cr- creamy yellow. I don't know. What are you going to No. Gonna- okay. <laughs> no. I haven't gotten there yet. But, but, the, but there is baby talk in season two, I hear. Well, there's baby talk, but people get it confused because what happens in the first episode is that I get I have problems and I get blackouts and I'm not sure why I'm getting this because I'm very, very healthy. I go to the gym. Mm. I eat well. I'm like, why am I getting these blackouts? So someone said, well, you might be pregnant. What? So Mm. I take a pregnancy test. But, you know, if you watch the show, it's something else. It's totally different. Um, But uh, the thing is, I'm not even ready for a kid right now. You know, I did get a little baby fever when I delivered my uh, sister's child Mm, um, last season. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that was that was a cool moment. Mm. But for me to have a baby, that's that's changing it up a lot. You know, people have to understand my career is showing off my body. Mm. You know, I'm a model. I have to be aware of that once you hit that 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 stone in your life that okay i can chill out i can have a baby then you're there but i'm not there yet i'm on this roller coaster guys i'm like going up i'm up They're like I'm high up there <laughs> i'm high up there my Whee! career is going yeah. great yeah. i don't want to like just you know stunt everybody by having a baby did you realize that when you got all that all that controversy started around you in that picture of your nephew like did you realize like this is <laughs> going to be a huge deal if I'm a parent. I can't do this stuff because they're jumping down my throat for this. You know what? Everybody knows I'm an exhibitionist and a mm. nudist, okay? So when Coco does something like that, it's Coco. Yeah. It's Coco. It's not like I'm a nun or yeah. anything. You know, honestly, and when I did that, that was the baby, by the way, that I delivered on the show. Uh-huh. So this baby is six months old. When you hear nephew, people assume he was like 19 years old. Like I'm sleeping in the bed. I'm like, come on, guys. Baby. And that baby is like, he was crying. He woke up. It was the middle of the night. Yeah. And I put him to sleep. I put him to sleep. And at that moment, my sister walked out. She saw us were almost sleeping. Well, he was sleeping and I was almost there. And she thought it was a really nurturing mo- mo- sorry, a nurturing mo- yeah. moment. Yeah. And no makeup on. It was all natural. Wow. You know, it was Ooh, like creamy yellow. It was <laughs> like so beautiful. And everybody yeah. turned it to be like some perverted thing. It was yeah, not you know, perverted. Everybody's perverted out there. That's the that's the problem. Yeah, that's because that's what happened. Like people yeah. it's that's them looking at right. you. That I wasn't even sexual. looking at the kid. I went no. to check the photo for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had no idea there was a baby <laughs> yeah. in that picture. And you know what? That's was that baby in that picture? <laughs> I don't know. After thinking about it, it's probably inappropriate to put that out there yeah. you know, for Twitter. But in in reality, I'm showing the world how my life is, and I think that's kind of cool to show this is what I really do. Mm. I know there's women that are naked in, in, in their beds with their kids too, you know. I know it's not my kid, but the mother was in the room. Wow. The mother yeah. is the one that took the picture. <laughs> and so was hard, she was right? pissed <laughs> off about to separate from him for my pictures. What? Because, because it was like he was he, cheating on he her was, with but your he was pictures. Like, it was almost like there was an obsession kind of thing. She didn't like the obsession. Maybe a picture here and there, but yeah. not right. all this stuff. He felt emotionally so, attached to you, even though right, he's but never met you before. She decided, there was a little twist involved, when he goes to work, she pulled out my stuff, and then she started getting into me. And so she emailed me and says, Coco, I have to tell you the story that when my man came back, I looked at your pictures, was going to break up with him. But I'm in love with you. Your female fans watch you because you work out and you have an incredible body. Are you going to be like mm-hmm. teaching them more on season two on how to keep fit? And because mm-hmm. you know well, it's incredible. I don't know how she does it, man. I I actually um I I box I box. That's what Uh-oh. you're going to see. But but the thing wow. is, well, the, <laughs> you better get away, yeah, Sam. You psycho- <laughs> you're psychopaths keep emailing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I box, but I think that's a really great way to shape, stay in shape. To use your core muscles and, yeah, for everything from your legs to your back to your arms to your abs, just it's great. But um, I go into the gym like a bodybuilder. People wow. understand. I don't. You don't play in, no games. It's I like, don't. Holy shit. People understand um, that when I go there, I don't talk. I don't. I'm no doing pink anything. dumbbells. Like. No. <laughs> yeah. Two pounders. <laughs> no pink dumbbells. I'm, 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 I'm pressing 400 pounds. Wow. What? Leg press. I can't even pounds. do that, yo. I can't press 40 pounds. <laughs> but that's why, we, you know, people ask me about the booty, right? Mm. Think about this. You can build a butt. 
yes, it is, you know, I, I inherited it somewhere down the line. Mm. But uh, what you got, you can do is you go and you can build a muscle. You know, when your biceps get big, yeah. when your triceps get big, you can do that to your butt. You wow. can grow it out a little bit. And so that's why I do all those squats and those lunges. I mean, they really do help. No, I got a little butt, man. I don't know if I should do all that, though. Right? Don't yeah. ask me. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> I don't ask you, man. Why are you looking at me when you're <laughs> yeah. asking me? But I have to say, though, on, on, there's like a muscle uh-huh. that I have that, that people don't really, can't, can't really grow. Mm. It's at the top of the muscle. I have like a booty muscle that's there. Well, it's easy, easy for me to grow. Sheesh.